Um, Touch Math does have domino. We call them dominoes. They are these cards that are set up. Let me put it, turn it right side up. Set up like dominoes. There are five different sets in the, um, in the box. And each set is configured a little differently. This one is touch numerals and numerals. So on one side, you'll have a plain numeral. And then on the other side, you'll have the touch points. And what I also love are that the touch points are textured and the students can feel those touch points. There's another set that is just the pictures on each side. And those two are also, uh, are also textured, but you can use these uh, to play different games, to do um, activities, making the students more aware of our number system, as well as the computations. So one thing that you notice about dominoes, whether you're looking at, even if you don't have the touch math dominoes, if you have a set of dominoes, and I happen to have a set, when you look at the dominoes, there's a certain configuration to the dots. And uh, same thing on playing cards. We've gotten used to that configuration so that it's easy to count. We don't have to, if I'm playing dominoes, I don't have to take my pencil and count this configuration every time I see it. Now, <laughs> when I used to play dominoes with my uh, husband's parents, they had the set of dominoes that were black, but did not have the line between them. And so you always knew when I had the double, the double zero domino, because I keep flipping the, car, the domino over looking for the dots. And so that was a dead giveaway. I had just drawn the double, neg, uh, double zero. So we identify by the configuration of items, which is easier to count. This pile of these little balls or that. When we look at the configuration, it's much easier to count it. So the second thing you can do with dominoes, you can do it with regular dominoes, you can do it with our uh, touch math dominoes, particularly the set that does not have the pictures, but does have the numerals on both sides, is that the students can align them. If you look at this pattern, so when we start out with the double zero or the empty one, and then we do the ones and then the twos and the threes and the fours and the fives and the sixes. Now in our set, in touch map set, we go up to nine. You can get regular dominoes that are uh, the double nines. I found that out because I looked it up. Um, and so they could line these up and see that pattern. When you, got, when you count upward, it's zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four. Anything that you can do to get the students to uh, see patterns in our numbering system is gonna help them understand uh, higher level calculations. And so this is one thing that you can do to help them recognize that pattern. And you can also call these the number families so that they are organized in a sequential way. Now, these are our, uh, uh, do, our touch math dominoes. And so if I hold up this particular domino, well, let me do this one. I have the five on one side and the two with the touch points on the other side. Just like in this picture, I've organized it with the sevens and I can practice my counting on or practice my skip counting. Counting on means that I would say seven and then count the uh, touch point, seven, eight. So seven plus one is eight. Seven plus two is seven, eight, nine. So every time I, I look at my um, touch points, I'm just counting. So seven plus three is seven, eight, nine, 10 seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So looking at the, lining up the dominoes this way, they can use those touch points for adding. 
They can also, if they're ready for it, they can use the touch points for multiplication. And we use skip counting for multiplication. Now, I don't know what I was thinking to take a picture of the sevens because that happens to be my kryptonite. Skip counting by seven. So here we go. So if I skip count by seven on a zero, the answer is zero because the zero has no touch points. Skip count by seven on the one is seven. So seven times one is seven. Seven times two is seven, 14. Seven times three is seven, 14, 21. Seven times four is seven, 14, 21, 28. You'll hear me start to slow down now. Seven times five is seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. So you're using your touch points and you're skip counting by the first number to get the answer to these multiplication facts. In touch math, we don't, we don't wait for students to memorize their addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts before moving on. With the use of the touch points, they don't need, they don't have to memorize the facts. But where when they work with it long enough and you use these strategies so that they see those patterns, then they are going to end up learning and remembering some of their uh, multiplication facts because they have actually done it and touched it. They can feel it and they can see it. Another a practice could be that they work with a partner and they draw a card and that partner has to do uh, has to multiply five times two. And if they need the touch points, they do the skip counting five, ten. So the cards can be used in more than one way. A number four way to use the dominoes is to make shapes. You could draw out a template that's just blank. Now the key is kind of similar to the way you normally play dominoes that you have to, each end has to match. So if I'm laying my dominoes out, I know I have to match five to five. So you can still use the um, touch math dominoes because you can match two to two. And you would go around laying the cards or the dominoes down into making the shapes. It's, it's kind of a fun activity. It also shows that um, you make sure that you know that these are the same. And with the uh, touch math dominoes, you could have the rule that they have to match um, a number without touch points with a number with touch points so that they see that um, that pattern. The number five way to use them are to, is to use the column addition. Now I'm going to tell you something. This, this is um, not easy. So if I'm given these three dominoes, the zero, three, one, four, and three, five, I have to do a, I have to make a problem with the ant correct answer by using those three dominoes. So I'm giving a hint by putting a three there. This is the answer to that one. I have the three zero. Over here, I have the four one and the answer is the five three. So you can set up problems and giving specific dominoes and they have to align them to make, uh, to make the problem work. This is a pretty difficult, to me, it's pretty challenging. So some of your kids who are uh, needing some activities as um, enrichment or to take it to the next level, they know their addition facts, they know their multiplication facts, and they know how to add and multiply, but they can do these as little puzzles to um, see other relationships. And then you can just use the, the uh, you can line these up and make an addition problem out of them.
So you could use any two of the domino cards and put them down. Let's say uh, you put them down and the student has to write the answer, or maybe they're working in pairs or in a group. Someone draws the two cards at random, they line them up and they have to come up with the answer. So in this example on the slide, I have the four two card and the three two. So I could either write the answer or I could find the card that is the answer, the seven four. So I would read this 42 plus 32 equals 74. Now on this one, I gave you a bonus because you can still use them like you would normally use dominoes. In fact, that's the design or the, the uh, goal of the cards that are in the domino set, the touch math. Each set of dominoes, like I said, there are five and each one is configured a little differently. This particular set, you're gonna match counting with the quantities. So I have three dots over here and notice the configuration. It's that the slanted three dots. And then I have the uh, three footballs. So this is the double three. I can use this just like the double three of a regular domino. But if you don't have the touch math dominoes, you can absolutely use the real dominoes and they can learn to play dominoes by matching up those numbers and also recognizing the patterns of the configuration. 